All right, you beautiful peoples of the internet. So what I'm going to try and explain to you today is you may have got two different monitors, well, two monitors, different monitors. One is a 1440p and the other is a 1080, but they're the same size. So let me just show you here. That's my 1440p and that's the 1080p monitor. Now, normally what you'd find is um i'll go to display settings now i'm having to film this on a on a camcorder because obviously i won't be able to capture the screen and do what i'm going to show you um let me just move this over but i've actually got them now the same size on here so um how do you do that well first off i'm going to go and reset them so then back to their native and show you what what i'm on about um so I need to bring up my NVIDIA control panel and for me it's over here now it's going to be very hard for you to see this on your screen but you'll know what I'm on about so here's the NVIDIA control panel I'll just pull it across you can see here's the two screens the Samsung G5 and this is a Dell 27 they're both 27 inch monitors now the native resolution of the Samsung um, it's probably quite hard I'll try and get a bit closer on the screen is 1440 2560 by 1440 that's its native resolution now the dell its native resolution would be 1080 but i'm running it at a custom thing at a custom let me just show you custom resolution and basically what's happening is the the graphics card is now down sampling this so let me just put it back to native native now apply now you'll see what the problem will be in a minute now when I show you here. So, uh, yeah, we'll keep these settings for a minute just so I can show you what the problem that I had and you've probably had if you've come up on my video. So I'm going to move the camera closer and I'm just going to move this file. So when it goes, you can see it doesn't go to the right place. When you cross screens, it comes down here. And if I go to, I'm um, sorry, if I bring this up, display settings you can now see on the display settings that screen one and screen three are different sizes so when i bring the arrow through it's going to like jump from here up to the top so we'll show you that the arrow's up there Let me just bring it in closer i'm trying to film this with a webcam so you can see that it jumps to different places and this is how you how you'd find sorry. this is how you'd find um when you first get your new say you're buying a new screen and you just want you've bought a 1080p screen and you're buying a 1440p screen and you want to set up a dual screen display well this is what you'll find is that you can't match them now i searched all over you uh, YouTube and there didn't seem to be a particularly good video or anyone that kind of explained it. Most people on the internet say, oh, you can't do it through Windows. Well, no, you can't do it through Windows, correct. But what you can do, so let's just bring this back up and I'm going to push, oh, push this here. So 1440p monitor, leave, leave that where, where, where you need it to be, right? Go to your, the monitor with the lower resolution, 1080. So this is the native. And what you do is you go to this piece here called Customize. Now you click Customize and create custom resolution. And from here, so there's your normal, 1920, 1080. So you now need to change these to whatever the resolution. So you could do this for if one was a 4K monitor and this one was a... A 1080p monitor you could actually upscale it to 4k but as long as you know so it's 2160 for 1440p i know it's 2160 and it's 1440 that's the actual um, lines and pixels off a 1440p monitor now you can go to test so when it's go black out like this and this is the test now and you can see but it's now working so we're going to press yes 
Now it will flick back, but I'll show you what you do is press OK. So you've now got this resolution. Now essentially it's still, it hasn't actually changed over yet. So now scroll this right back up to the top. Uh, it's not 2160, sorry, it should have been, I can't remember what it is. Hold on, let me just check. 2560, it should have been. Yeah, 2560. So, so 2560 or 1440, now apply. It'll mess about again. And now we're back to how it was when I started the video. And yes, we'll keep those settings. And just to prove that, um, I can't close OBS because I'm recording this. I'll bring up the display settings. And you can see now that the two monitors are matched in size. So what's happening on this 1080p monitor is that the GPU or the graphics card, the NVIDIA graphics card, is now super sampling 1440p down to 1080p. Um, so you're not actually getting more resolution out of the screen, but you're just allowing a higher resolution to run on this on a 1080p screen. And it just stops the thing where you can see with the arrow here. Um, let me just close this. So say I'm grabbing this file here. Now normally you, it would stop you from going across, but you can see here I can cross it here. If you've come across this problem, then you probably know what I'm on about. If you've not come across this problem and you've got two matching monitors, then you're probably thinking, what the hell is this guy on about? But if you know what I'm on about and you've had this problem, then just rewatch the video and that will show you how to do it. So again, quick resample of what I did was I clicked up the NVIDIA control panel. Then I choose the, the smaller of the two monitors, which in this one is the Dell. The Samsung's the 1440, sorry, let me show you this. The Samsung was the 1440, the Dell is the 1080. I then selected Customize, then selected Create Custom Resolution, and I then created a 1440p resolution here. So 2560 by 1440, then I tested it, then I kept it, applied it, and once I applied it, I then had to then come back here and select it from the custom resolution that I'd already made. Like this one, I need to get rid of, actually. Don't know how to get rid of it. Oh, well, doesn't matter. As long as I know it's here, I, I can close this all off. So that's a quick way of doing it. Um, I'm sorry it's a really janky video because I couldn't do it all in OBS because of the screen chops and changes. Um, and I'm only using a fairly cheap ass 1080p monitor. Um, so that's it guys. That's a really quick sort of way of doing that. Um, if you found this helpful, then just leave us a like. I'm not going to beg for subs. I don't do that. Um, and what I will do if you fancy a monitor, if you look, this is a G5 Samson, great monitor. And this Dell one, I've only bought it the last couple of days. I paid 150 quid for this. I paid 230 quid or something for the Samson. Unfortunately, this has gone right back up in price now. Um, they're like 280 quid now. I don't know why. You'd think over time the price of monitors would drop, not go up. Um, this one's been on sale recently. And they're both 144. Oh, yeah, that's the four. I didn't show you that, did I? Um, I go to display settings. I don't think it shows it on here. No, it doesn't. Um, I'll bring back up the NVIDIA settings. But they're both actually running at 1440p um, at 144 hertz. So, um, yeah, 144 hertz on this one. And if I go to the Dell, let me just show you. Hopefully this will come out on the screen. 144 hertz at downsampled 1440p. So they're both running, at the, still running at their native um, refresh rates as well. So I think I've blabbered on. I hope you understood what I'm on about. I'm not going to remake the video. It's just a quick one explaining how it's done. Um, I hope this helps. Anyway, cheers, guys. Thanks. Glenn out. Bye now.